I decided to go ahead and try the uh, hinge, piano hinge mount on uh, the rear cover for the excavator. So here on this view, I'm just gonna kind of lay out how it's gonna work, get it the way it makes sense that it opens out towards us here. Then I'll mark where that blue mark is. I'll cut it off there or maybe at that, at this joint right here. And then I will transfer those screws into the side cover and get those mounted and then put the other cover on there, the back cover, and try to transfer those screws and then screw it all together. And then I'll work on the latches once I'm happy with how that works. Funny thing happened, not paying attention. I marked where I wanted to cut it off, but I needed to turn it over on the vise and I didn't transfer the mark. And I assumed where I was gonna cut it off. And what did I do? I cut it off too short. But I think it's gonna be fine just like this. What I'm trying to decide to do now is whether to mount it like this, which I don't think is very clean, but it also reduces that gap right there. So that's my dilemma right now. I'm gonna try to uh, mount it the other way where the hinge is on the inside on both, both pieces. I think that'll give a cleaner look, but it will have a another, a better, bigger gap, and it will also be harder to transfer the holes. We'll see how it goes. I, did a, I decided to put the hinges towards the inside, the way I thought they should have gone, which I think looks better. I did try to leave a gap of about a quarter inch here. I put cardboard under it, but it's not like that anymore. I'm not sure why. And then when it closes, it hits. So you have to lift that. I still need to put the latch on. I'm not there yet. But I just wanted to show you how these hinges came out. I had intended on making the hinge the full length. But then I screwed up and cut it off too short. I did keep this original sheared off portion on top, hoping that the pin won't fall down. If it does, I may pull it out a little more and uh, bend it up a little more so it doesn't fall through. But what I did was I used the uh, 1024 flatheads and in the top one, where the bolt was, I just tapped that and put lock, blue Loctite on it. And then on this one, where the slot was, it was pretty close, but I actually drilled through. So I just put a nut on the back of that one and a nut on the, on the rest of them. And um, it came out pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it. I think part of the problem is the fact that there's no there's no bolt in here, so that lets it lets it sag down. But you're not going to run it like that anyway. So the next thing is to move on to the latches. Alrighty, end of the day, wrapping it up. Got the latches on. Piano hinge on. One thing. I put the bolts back in backwards. The bolts that went into those slots. The reason I did that was I wanted a similar gap over here as the hinge. 
hinge created over here. And when I put these on, I put that spacer under the, the door to bring it up so it's equal to the other side. What I'm probably going to do is put some kind of rubber on the end of those. What I'd like it to do is be able to line it up with those slots so, so when it closes it um, will stay up. But I think it will anyway, so. But I don't want that metal on metal, that'll be bad. But anyway, that's the, that's the door project for the excavator. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And I appreciate you watching. And I hope to see you next time.